Okay, so I've been playing around with custom GPT a little bit. And one of the things that I want to do is to create a custom GPT so that it can write blogs in the style that I have. So of course, like every other blog writer nowadays, we use ChatGPT as an assistant. And ChatGPT, uh, especially GPT-4, has been very helpful in terms of making blogs. However, the token limitation is still making it quite difficult to have the GPT write the blog the way that I would want it. So if I want to have a really quality blog, I would still have to do a lot of manual intervention and kind of edit the topics a lot. And I was thinking now that with custom GPT, it should make it a lot easier uh, for the GPT to understand exactly what is my writing style because now I'm able to add in a lot more context. I'm able to upload the files uh, of let's say all the different blogs that I've written. So this will help GPT customize the context a lot better. So hopefully that's the idea. So let's dive into it and try to create the ultimate block writing chat GPT. Block the way that I want it to. Okay, so first just some general general prompt that I want some general some general guideline that I want this I want the GPT to be an expert blog writer that knows how to write captivating blogs while still focusing on SEO. So now the GPT builder is updating the GPT and writing instructions here. So you can kind of see this is the description and the instructions here about how the GPT should be when it comes to writing blog. Name SEO Blocksmith, sure. So it tries to suggest what the name should be and then it will try to generate the image of the GPT. I might want to actually update the name later because the thing with these custom GPT is you can actually publicize it uh, for everyone to try to use. So there I can see that I would want it to sound a bit better name and maybe better images as well once I decide to public this custom GPT. So now it's generating the profile picture. So it's using Dolly to generate it. Now in the meanwhile, while it does this, I'm gonna go and get some of the blogs from my website. Yeah, looks good for now. Okay, so now it's asking about content and then style of writing. So our company, Woodpecker, is an AI knowledge extraction tool. So basically, it's able to generate notes from conversations online and in person. So the topic should revolve around AI and productivity in meeting, in work in general, in life. Now, I don't want to name drop the company because what usually happens is GPT will always try to kind of be a bit salesy and have a CTA that I'll try out Woodpecker. And that's something I want to avoid because I think where GPT shines the most is that it's able to write top funnel blogs basically related to topics that are within the vicinity of what we do uh, as a company. So I'm going to just have this particular GPT write blogs about those kind of things. Now it's asking a bit more about personalization. I think I won't go too deep into this because it's, it's quite hard to kind of describe a person's writing style. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and start uploading my blogs into the knowledge. So I'll upload them as files and then see where this takes us. Okay, so now I have some HTML files for GPT. I think HTML files might be a bit better than just Word document. Of course, I could copy paste a Word document. Google Docs or Word files works as well. But I think with HTML, it's able to crawl through also the formatting as well. So that might help. Uploading files? 
Good. Uh, so just to confirm, I will ask, I just uploaded a bunch of HTML files of my blogs. Are you able to read them? Yep. Great. So seems like GPT is well capable of accessing and reading HTML files. So now we have ourselves a GPT, a custom GPT, a custom GPT for blog writing. So let's begin with uh, some topics. So I have a keyword idea for quarterly meetings. So I would want chat GPT to generate me an outline to write a blog about this keyword. I would like to write a blog about quarterly meeting. Could you focus on that keyword and generate a comprehensive outline for the blog? Okay, so I like this structure. So first of all, it's explaining what quarter me quarterly meetings are, how to prepare for it, how to run it, what are the most important things in quarterly meetings, how to follow up after the meeting, what are the problems, uh, what are the pitfalls and how to avoid them. Case study success stories, I think this is a bit unnecessary. Quarterly meetings aren't that important that it warrants uh, case studies or success stories. So I will tell G tell GPT to take away section seven. And the other thing about when you write these type of blocks is it's always great to have a copyable agenda outline because when people are asking about how to run quarterly meetings or how to run any type of meetings, they want to basically have an outline ready. So I would want GPT to generate a template for viewers or readers as well. Also generate a template for running a successful quarterly meeting. Okay, now this looks quite nice. I like it. Okay, so now we start writing the blog. And I think here is one mistake that a lot of people make is to tell GPT to hey, just start writing the blog. But the thing is, GPT has still a limit on generated tokens. So it will only write you maybe three to 500 word blog, which is, which is a very short blog. And no matter how many times you say, hey, can you write a 2000 word blog? It won't. So the way that I do it is I'll tell GPT to generate just the first part, like section one and the introduction. And then once it's finished with that, then you tell it to write the next section, the next section, the next section. It looks good. Begin writing the introduction and section one in long form. So now I can just let GPT do its thing while I wait, grab a cup of coffee or something. Good. So now you can see that it's generating a good chunk of text. Continue with section two. And so you kind of repeat this process until you're done with the blog. And now you have quite a beefy blog with, with around 2000 words. So now I can start seeing where custom GPT is better than just chat GPT. So the sections here are quite nicely structured. So it has like sections and bullet points. So this is very nice. And the, the paragraphs are not too long, not more than two to three sentences. So this is good. Now section four, next section, next section. Now I think we've reached the end. So conclude the blog. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start copying things over to Surfer SEO and do some touch up. Let's see. So now we're scoring quite high and we have the keywords matching. So now, and, and we stuffed the keywords quite nicely and we haven't even added any images yet. So I can, I can see that with just a few images, this content score will get a lot higher. So this is good, but overall it's a really nice looking blog. The structure is nice. There's not too many dense paragraphs and it's very good for readability. Their sections very clearly laid out. So, 
I would say that GPT did a pretty good job at writing the type of blogs that I usually write. So yeah, great stuff, great stuff.